a common sense test that 88% of people can't pass. Here on Earth, humans are the most intelligent species around. We're self-aware, we can think critically, and we're incredibly inventive. But hey, don't let your head get too big. While you're probably super smart, your common sense may not be as sharp as you think it is. Don't believe me? See if you can answer these simple yet tricky questions. Don't forget that the answers may be right there in front of you. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the bright side. 1. Okay, let's start with an easy one. You have five apples in a basket and five people to distribute them to. How can you give an apple to each person while still leaving one in the basket? Does your head hurt yet? The answer is actually pretty simple. Just keep the last apple in the basket and hand the basket with the apple in it to the fifth person. 2. Listen carefully to these words. Imagine you're in an office building and everything around you is on fire. Just beyond the desk in front of you is a door, but flames are in front of it. How do you get out? The answer? Well, stop imagining. The beginning of the sentence was, imagine you're in an office building. So the scenario wasn't even real in the first place. You were just imagining it. 3. How can a man go eight days without ever hitting the hay? The same way you do. He sleeps at night. The same answer would apply conversely. If a man can go eight nights without sleep, it's probably because he slept during the day. Pretty tricky, right? 4. Picture this. You live in a barn. While standing on the barn roof with one of your roosters, it lays an egg. In which direction does the egg roll? Um, the egg doesn't roll anywhere because there is no egg. Roosters don't lay eggs. Perhaps the bigger question is, why are you guys on the barn roof? 5. This next question will put your knowledge of marriage law to the test. Is it against the law for a man to marry his widow's sister? While it's not exactly illegal, it would sure be hard considering the fact that the guy is dead. A widow is the living spouse of a person who has passed away. Gotcha there, didn't I? 6. You may have to really rack your brain with this next question. What goes up and down over and over again, but never actually travels anywhere? Do you give up? The answer is stairs. You go up and down stairs all the time, but the stairs are always in the same place. Unless, of course, you're talking about escalators, which are moving stairs. Okay, things are getting a little complicated here. 7. You'll love this question. It's all about money, honey. Do you know why 1968 pennies are more valuable than 1967 pennies? Well, considering the fact that 1,968 is just one digit higher than 1,967, that makes the amount larger and, therefore, a smidge more valuable. The numbers are referencing the amount of pennies and not the year, like your brain probably thought. Generally, no matter what year pennies were manufactured, they're all the same value. One cent. Eight. Okay, you're all done reading the morning newspaper. You take out one page and fold it in half. How many more times can you fold it in half?
Can't come up with an answer? Well, you can technically only fold the paper in half once. If you continue to fold it, you'll be folding it into fourths, then eighths, then sixteenths, then you get the idea. Okay, now the questions are about to get a little trickier. Do you think you can handle it? Let's put your common sense to the test. 9. This is Tom. Tom's dad has five sons named 10, 20, 30, and 40. Can you guess the name of the fifth son? The answer was right in the question. The fifth son's name is Tom. The question said Tom's dad. After naming four of the sons, the fifth one must be Tom. 10. Which weighs more? 100 pounds of feathers or 100 pounds of bricks? You're probably assuming bricks since they're obviously much heavier than feathers. But if you look a little closer at this question, you'll see that the answer is right there. Both the feathers and the bricks weigh 100 pounds. It's the amount of feathers and bricks that vary, not their weight of 100 pounds. 11. How far can you walk into the woods? If you're brave enough to walk into the woods by yourself, you'll learn that you can walk halfway into the woods. Once you've passed the halfway mark, you're technically walking out of the woods. Or running depending on what crazy stuff you find in there. You've seen the Blair Witch Project, right? 12. Think you're a whiz at math? Let's see if you can answer this question. How much dirt is there in a 14 by 12 by 10 hole? Okay, before you get a headache from all that computing, I'll give you the answer. There isn't any dirt in the hole. If it were filled with dirt, or anything for that matter, it wouldn't really be a hole, would it? 13. Here's another math question for all you wannabe Einsteins out there. How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? Okay, let's walk through this one together. If you were to subtract 10 from 100, you'd end up with 90. So, if you subtracted 10 again, well, you wouldn't be taking it from 100, you'd be taking it from 90. If you took away 10 more, you'd be taking it from the new amount of 80. This means you can only subtract 10 from 100 once. Makes sense, right? 14. You know how Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, right? Well, before this mountain was established as the highest mountain in 1952, which mountain was the tallest in the world? Racking your brain trying to remember what you learned in geography class back in high school? Well, you're wasting your time. If Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world today, it was the tallest 100 years ago, 200 years ago, and so on. It still existed here on Earth, we just didn't know it yet. Still hanging in there? Okay, I have a couple more questions for you to solve. You can do it! 15. Think you're a wordsmith, do ya? Let's try this question on for size. Which word becomes shorter after adding two letters to it? Wait a minute, how can a word become shorter if you're adding letters to it? That doesn't make any sense. Actually, it makes plenty of sense once you realize the word I'm talking about is short. If you add two letters to the word, specifically E and R, the word literally becomes shorter. See, it does make sense. 16. 
Do you know why it is illegal for a person who is living in South Dakota to be buried in North Dakota? Um, you know that burying a person alive is against the law, right? Well, that's why a living person can't be buried in South Dakota, North Dakota, or anywhere for that matter. Nowhere in the sentence did I say the person had passed away. Therefore, they're still alive and well. Whew, that was a close one. 17. As you probably already know, different countries celebrate different holidays. But if you're in England, can you still celebrate the 4th of July? Last time I checked, the month of July does exist in England. That means they have a 4th of July, a 5th of July, and a 6th of July. It may not be a national holiday over there, but the date still exists. However, you may be the only one in England craving hot dogs that day. After attempting to answer all these questions, there's no way your brain isn't tingling. I know mine is. If there's anything you take away from this, just know that sometimes things are simpler than they seem. Trust your common sense and try not to think too hard about things. You're smarter than you realize. Which question had your brain in knots the most? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the Bright Side!